what I talked about earlier from the Declaration. It is, it is a, it is a common shared idea of who we are. Now, that doesn't mean there are differences, and there are obviously differences on policy things, but there's a general sense of what America is about. And I think a good leader reminds us who we are and reminds us what our duty and responsibility is and tries to bring us together with truth, with describing accurately, not politically, but accurately the challenges that we have in front of us. And I can say for a long time we haven't had that. We haven't had people who had the courage to go out and lay out a problem. Why? Because it's easily politicized when you do it. You get ostracized for being speaking frank. I love it when you hear people say, we want our politicians to be plain spoken, and when they do, they just get hammered. All right? They just get hammered for doing it. Well, I think that's, that's exactly what the doctor will Someone who has the courage to go out, remind us who we are. I mean, that was the thing that people always now look back and they say, Reagan, wow, what a great leader he was. Why? Because he reminded Americans who we were. When Reagan left office in his farewell address, the last thing he said to America was his concern about American understanding of American history and who we were as a people. And that that was being lost in our culture, in our schools, in our families, about what America is about. I think we need a leader who can remind us who we are. And you know what, if we have a, it goes back. The debate is not about the future, it's about the past. If we can all come together and agree of who we are, what worked and didn't work in America, it's a lot easier to, to build consensus as to how to get things done in the future. Right, doesn't that make sense? We're all starting from the same point. But if we're not, if we're divided, as to what does work and what America is, it's going to be very hard to find that middle ground. <coughs> if there anything this president has done, it's these divides. And I, I understand the politics of it. The politics of it is there are more have-nots than haves to 99%. Right? It's easy if you can just appeal to the 99, maybe not 99, but even 75%, right? good politics. It's destructive. It's not who we are.